Anoha owns a medium sized footwear store in Agra, selling all kinds of footwear. Though he is making a decent amount of revenue through offline sales, Manoha wants to increase his sales and make more profit. For this, many of his friends advised him to take his business online by listing out his products on e commerce websites. However, Manoha was not convinced in taking this online route as e commerce website gave preferences to only a few top brands by giving some lucrative discounts. Many a times he wondered whether small businessmen and retailers can come online and also get good deals for their products just like some big brands do. But now, looks like the government has finally paid heed to the inner voices of the small business owners like Manoha by taking an initiative that will completely change the game of online shopping. So, what is this initiative and how will it benefit both small business owners and customers? Watch this special report to know all about it. It is well known that India's e-commerce market is dominated by Amazon and Flipkart. Both these giants have a lion's share of the market and they decide which brands need to get more visibility with maximum discounts on the expensive products. Now, to break this digital monopoly, the government has conceptualized ONDC. So, what is that? ONDC or Open Network for Digital Commerce is an open source network where local and small businessmen get a network enabled application that will enable them to increase their business reach. On 29th April this year, ONDC started a pilot project and is being done in five cities namely Bangalore, New Delhi, Bhopal, Shillong and Coimbatore. This project has more than 150 retailers as its participants. So the question is how does ONDC work? The platform basically works on two ends, the seller and the buyer side. The seller side is hosted by players like GoFuggle and Digit while the buyer side interface is being hosted by PTM with ONDC lying in the middle of these interfaces. At present, when a buyer wants to buy a headphone, he or she will search various e-commerce apps looking for the best deals. But switching multiple apps will be time consuming and also to monopolize the market, giants like Flipkart and Amazon give huge discount on expensive products. Hence, Amazon and Flipkart have a monopoly. While when the same user uses ONDC to open the app, say PTM, to search for the headphones, the buyer will not only receive options of sellers on that particular app, but also headphones available on the other apps and stores nearby. So buyers will have multiple options to choose from. Adding to that, consumers also get facility of interoperability. This means you order goods from one app and the other app delivers it. For example, you order food on Swiggy and delivery app like Dunzo or the restaurant can deliver the food directly to you. This will certainly reduce the delivery charges for the customers. ONDC is not just restricted to electronics, foods and clothing but also includes groceries, vegetables and fruits which means that Kirana stores can also be part of ONDC network. Moreover, recently Microsoft announced its decision to join ONDC network by launching a shopping app. This means that small retailers and business owners can take advantage of advanced technologies which are currently being used only by players like Amazon and Flipkart. This is the reason why ONDC is called UPI of e-commerce. But it will be interesting to see what role fintechs will be playing in this ONDC ecosystem and what they can bring to the table. Nevertheless, the Indian e-commerce space will never ever be the same again.